Hello, in this video we are going to fix the issue where Chromium won't uninstall. Some users have been unable to uninstall Chromium from their PC using the conventional ways. While this can certainly be an uninstallation glitch, this particular issue is most likely caused by a fake Chromium package, malware that is often bundled with freeware or shareware available on some download sites. This video is an informative guide to help users uninstall both the clean version of Chromium and the malware infected one. So first, what is Chromium? Chromium is a legitimate open source browser project originally created by Google which forms the basis of Google Chrome. Chromium seems almost identical with Google Chrome, but the latest has an impressive list of improved features over its open source counterpart. Because it's open source, the source code of Chromium can be downloaded by anyone interested, modified, and then recompiled into a working web browser. As you can imagine, this can pose a serious security risk with unsuspecting users. Keep in mind that most Chromium builds are portable and will not require you to install them. However, there are certain Chromium-derived projects that distribute it via installers. Even more, a clean Chromium build will not start automatically at startup and is not bundled with other software. Here, let me take few seconds to describe potential security risk. At its core, Chromium is harmless by itself and should not be regarded as a security concern. However, given the fact that it's open source, some malware creators use Chromium to create malware-infected versions and trick users into installing them. The main purpose of infected Chromium installation is to pump your PC full of adware, redirect you to certain links, track your online behavior, and convince you to download additional infected software. The good news is, malware-infected Chromium versions are quite easy to identify if you know where to look. On your screen, you can see a list of some problems you might experience if you are dealing with the malware-infected Chromium. Your computer certainly has the Chromium browser even if you don't manually install it on your system. Your default browser is changed to Chromium without your permission. Chromium isn't listed in control panel program and feature and can't be uninstalled conventionally. The default search engine is replaced with a shady search provider automatically. You get constant redirects, pop-ups and new tabs while browsing. You start experiencing extremely low startups and your PC runs increasingly slow. Every once in a while, you get, an, you get ad pop-ups and notifications that cannot be blocked. They often prompt you to download additional software, which is also malware. If your PC is having some of the symptoms as shown on the screen, you are probably dealing with an infected Chromium version. Ignoring an infection such as this is not advisable since it can cause huge problems along the way. Here's a list of Chromium-based browsers that are known to engage in malware activities. Keep in mind that this is only a short list with obscure Chromium-based browsers that are bundled with malware. On top of this list, there's a whole lot of Chromium clones that look and behave exactly the same as the real Chromium, which means same icon, same name, and same menus. So let's talk about how we can uninstall Chromium. If you are currently unable to uninstall Chromium, it's important to identify if you are dealing with the malware. A quick way to determine this is to pop up Task Manager. Press Ctrl, Shift and Escape. Then you get the screen. Click More Details. See if you have multiple instances of Chromium browser in your process tab. Let me sort it on the basis of name. So on this demo computer, we don't see any processes going on. But if you are in using an infected version of Chromium, you'll see a whole lot list of Chromium processes. As an example, you can see a screenshot of infected computer on your screen. So let's move forward with our different methods on how we can uninstall Chromium. Let me close this window. The first one is to uninstall from control panel and delete app data folder. 
there have been some reports where users were unable to install the clean version of Chromium. Some users have reported that Chromium was still loaded at startup despite being uninstalled from programming features. As it turns out, this is actually a known glitch and has nothing to do with a malware infection. In this case, the solution would be to find Chromium folder in the app data folder and delete it manually. Now, first of all, we will try to uninstall Chromium from programs and feature. Press Windows key and R, type appwiz.cpl, click on Chromium and click on uninstall. Now open a file editor, press Windows and E, go to this PC and C drive, go to Uses, here choose your name or the user account which you, are used, which you have used to log into the computer. From here you have to go to App Data folder. If you are not able to find App Data, click on View and check the option to show hidden items. Go to App Data and then Local. From here you'll find a Chromium directory. Select Chromium and delete it. So once the Chromium folder is deleted, restart your computer and see if you are still uh, able to see traces of Chromium. If you are still able to see traces of Chromium, proceed to our next method which is using, uh, which is to use a uninstaller software to uninstall Chromium. So here's Chromium comes in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Some packages might have bugs that will prevent the software from uninstalling successfully. If the previous method was not effective, we can use specialized removal tool that can do the trick. There are a lot of powerful uninstaller out there. Feel free to use whichever you feel more comfortable with. We are using CCleaner in this video since we have this installed already on this computer. You can use, use Revo or you can use IOBit uninstaller. These links are given in the video's description. You can choose any of the uh, of the uninstaller software, either iobit.iobit, um, Revo uninstaller, or CCleaner. In this computer, we have CCleaner installed already, so we are going to use CCleaner to uninstall Chromium software. Let's go to Tools and select Chromium, and then click on Uninstall. Now once the uninstallation is done, you can restart your computer and check if you are still able to see any traces of Chromium software. If that's the case, it means that you are certainly dealing with a malware. Our next method is to deal with a Chromium malware. The Chromium derivative malware is known to have regenerative property. As some users have pointed out, the virus has the capacity of reinfecting your PC if not removed properly the first time. The virus is known to be quite heavy on your system resources, so expect your overall PC performance to go to get worse and worse over time if you leave the malware infection unattended. If the previous methods have been ineffective in removing Chromium, or you discovered multiple Chromium processes in Task Manager, it's clear that you're dealing with a malware infection. Fortunately, there's a way of removing the malware permanently from your computer. Let's follow the further steps and see how we can deal with this malware. First of all, press Control, Shift and Escape to open Task Manager. From here, locate a Chromium process and then just right click on that and click on Open File Location. Since on this computer, the Chromium doesn't exist, as an example, we'll just open any random file location. So once you are in the location, 
This location should be the malware's location. But before you remove the malware folder, we'll need to close every Chrome mail process. If you don't do it, it will say that the files are in use and you won't be allowed to delete the malware. With this in mind, close every Chromium process by right-clicking on the Chromium process and clicking on End Task. Now, once you are done with adding all the Chromium tasks, quickly move to the location you opened in the previous step and quickly delete the main exe file, which is executable, uh, which is explorer.exe. The execu executable hosts the vast majority of data related to the malware. Deleting it should prevent new processes from spawning again. Now, if right-clicking and delete doesn't work, just drag the exe file to the recycle bin, which should do the trick. Once the executable is removed, delete the rest of the files from this explorer folder. Once all the files are removed, hit the up arrow and delete explorer folder as a whole. Next step is to delete the leftover data folder, which is located in the app data local and games bot. Just delete the folder and then we need to delete the games bot folder from the local directory. Make sure, the empty, make sure to empty the contents of your recycle bin and reboot your system. Your system should restart without any traces of Chromium malware. Now, even if this method has been effective, we can go for the next option, which is to remove malware leftovers using malware bytes. You can download malware bytes from the link given in description. Download and install malware bytes from the official link given in video's description. Open malware bytes and then click on scan now. Wait for the scanning to complete. Scanning process can take a couple of hours depending on your system. Once it's complete, see if it removed any registry entries or browser related files by clicking on view identified threads and then make sure all threads are selected and hit quarantine selected button. Regardless of the outcome, reboot your computer one last time and at the next startup, there should not be any trace of Chromium malware. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.